So we're talking to Robert Greenhouse, the watch leader of Azam, Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing's entry in the Volvo Ocean Race. Uh, 48 hours to go to the, to the race to Sanya, Rob. Um, just break the race down for us into, you know, into, into several legs. How, what's the race looking like to Sanya? Um, well, I, you know, I guess there's sort of three stages possibly to it. Sort of first stage from the Maldives, uh, you know, up to the sort of north northwest tip of Sumatra, sort of the start of the Malacca Straits there, um, which is you know across the Bay of Bang- Bengal, which you know you you know it could be very windy, but generally this time of year you've got the northeasterly monsoon blowing, which is it's, uh, dry wind, but um, it's uh, it, you know it's sort of 10 to 20 knots. Um, and obviously it could be very cloud related so it could be squally could be um, could be very difficult um, so obviously we'll work our way you know across the bottom of Sri Lanka and then up sort of nor- in a northeast direction into the wind um, you know try to make the best of that which you know it could be ship related and cloud related so we just have to see how that maps out okay. then I guess second stage you could um, down the sort of Malacca Strait sort of from the sort of top northwest corner there of Sumatra down to Singapore, um, I think that's anyone's guess down there is most likely that the race will have a bit of a restart mm-hmm. um, somewhere down there, as the wind will most probably crap out and um, could come in from you know all directions. Yeah, er- so Ericsson Four. Yeah, Ericsson Four got caught in there last uh, race, didn't they? Yeah, she had a good lead last time and then got overtaken by most of the fleet. You know, having been fifty or sixty miles out, fifty or sixty miles gone. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's uh, you know sea breezes and land breezes, and you know who knows people may may be able to stay gone if they're if they're out in front. But I suspect that things will compress there, and it'll be tricky all the way down to Singapore. Okay. But uh, yeah, but you're not stopping there this Singapore. time, are you? You're not stopping in Singapore this time. It's straight on to uh, to Sanya. So. Just tell us about how you got your you got your heads kicked in last time, didn't you? Yeah, I, I mean obviously Singapore upwards are back into this northeast to be monsoon, um, and um, obviously it's quite a lot windier there. We we'll probably expect twenty to thirty knots, maybe more at times. Mm. Last time we were more to the east, up the Philippines coast, where we saw you know fifty knots off the top of the Philippines. This time we'll probably be more towards Vietnam. Um, okay. I'm sure we're going to see thirty or forty and pretty horrendous sea states. So. Um, you know, it could be boat breaking stuff, but we just have to, you know, get through it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, now, Rob, you know, you're obviously you're the watch leader on Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing. What is, what exactly does that mean? Can you just describe your role? Yeah, I mean, the, the two watch captains um, basically their role is to, uh, you know, keep the boat fast for that for the period of time they're on deck, you know, and uh, coordinate sail changes with the with the sort of skipper and navigator down, downstairs coordinate the sort of uh, tactical decisions the skipper and navigating are calling for and making sure that, you know, the boat is essentially going in the direction they want and as fast as possible. Mm. So, uh, you know, it, it's about, you know, making sure everyone's working, you know, in the same direction and keeping the boat going as close to 100% performance as, as possible. Okay. All right, Rob. And, uh, and what about safety on deck? Um you know, the skipper, navigator, often down below, um, you know, do you play a big role in that? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone's very safety conscious these days anyway. Okay. Um, and no one no one takes any unnecessary risk, but, you know, certainly, sl- you know, if the conditions, you know, see fit, it's up to the watch captain to start slowing the boat down and making sure it stays within its tolerances and, and likewise keeping all the guys safe. You okay. know, if there's crew going forward to do a sail change, um, it's, you know up to the person in charge of the sort of watch at the time to make sure the boat's at a sensible speed such that people don't get hurt. Okay. And uh, and last but not least, I believe it's Sci-Fi's birthday today. Any uh, any birthday cake tonight? Oh, I didn't know that. I haven't seen Sci-Fi yet. He's still on his honeymoon, but I will uh, wish him a happy birthday when I see him tomorrow. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's his birthday today. and I, I, I'm sure I know what present he'd like and probably the whole crew would like uh, to get to Sandia first, though. Absolutely, yeah. No, we're uh, we're in need of a proper leg win, so um, you know it'd be great to get there first. Um, you know, we're, the boat's not slow, and I think I'm sure most of the fleet are scared of us at times. You know, we've definitely got some very potent times where we're probably going to be untouchable. 
Um, so hopefully we can get up to uh, Sanya in good shape. I think it's going to be, you know, probably a lot about keeping the boat in one piece and make sure we get there. Okay, wonderful. Well, best of luck, uh, Rob, to you and and all the on all the cruising of our ocean race.